Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai, men, women and children. As always, all the praises, glory and honour is forever due unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Baha Rechaha Kodash. Double honour is extended unto the venerable elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. Peace, blessings and salutations goes out to the Bayath Shal Dawada, which is the house of David, beginning with the 144,000, the governing body. Arwan Rathaza, which means Lord willing. So Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, <clears throat> we see the economy of this current wicked society headed by E, the so-called W-H-I-T-E man, all right, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right, we see this economy crumbling right before our eyes, okay, we're in those times, man, all right, so things ain't getting better, all right, and uh, I've got a couple of articles that basically back up the point that I'm saying, the first one here is from the Daily Mail, all right, which is dated the 6th of June, all right, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and the uh, the headline says it, man. Popular convenience store chain forced to shut all 25 stores in Wisconsin after 48 years. <laughs> all right. Wisconsin convenience store and gas station chain. The store is being forced to close all of its 25 locations. Okay. And uh, there was even another um, article from the End Time headlines that said uh, 20, is it 2,600 stores across Babylon the Great America closing down. Something to that effect. All right, 2,600 stores, all right, which that's a lot of jobs, either 2,600 jobs or 2,600 stores, I believe it's the stores, all right, but that's, either way, that's a lot, all right, a lot of labour being laid off, all right, a lot of work, okay, so it's going to get harder and harder for people out here, all right, it says the store established in 1976 will shutter its business businesses at the end of July, it also has locations in Michigan, but this is not the story of another retail chain getting into financial trouble or being hit with falling sales. The Wisconsin staple was forced to close after the company that owns its buildings and land, Mountain Express Oil, entered Chapter 7 bankruptcy last year. Okay. A property investment company that bought the land does not plan to extend the deal for the store to operate there. It is thought it will either build on them or get a new company. Perhaps a national gas station chain like Chevron to operate the site. You see? So, hey, these are the times that we're in. Okay. So that's just, that's Exhibit A, Article 1. Okay. We'll go to this one. And this is from End Time Headlines, all right, which is a Christian news outlet, all right, which, you know, we know Plantation Christianity does not have the truth, all right, and stuff like that. But, you know, I like this news source, of course. All right, but we need to filter, you know, you know, the news information out, you know, picking out the, the facts from the, the lies, you know, through the spirit. So, um, <clears throat> end time headlines, all right. Of course, this article is related to Bible prophecy, all right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, headline, Walmart store closures continue as retail apocalypse impacted other chains. Walmarts are closing across the country, and retail experts say the cuts are signals of a bleak future for shoppers. The multi-million dollar corporation has closed nine stores so far this year, which could be a warning sign for the other retail giants. Walmart, which operates 5,000 stores in the US, is also reportedly laying off hundreds of corporate employees as the company urges remote workers to come into work. And uh, of course, this is speaking <coughs> of America. All right, but you know, we, we have stores and businesses closing over here across the UK as well. All right, I'm not sure of the exact number, but <clears throat> you know, it's not looking good at all. All right. <laughs> so, you know, when it hits the people's doorstep, all right, that's when you know they're realizing it'll be, it'll be too late, man. Okay, that's when they'll want to to do something about it. All right. See, these bread and circus is as what's keeping you know, these people are uh, entertained. All right. And that reminds me of a quote uh, that was said by uh, George Orwell, all right, in, uh, in 1984. In 1984, George Orwell said, um, how did it go? Said something along the lines of, uh, 
football, beer, and above all gambling, build up the horizon of their mind to keep them in control was not difficult. Yeah, that's what George Orwell said, man. Okay, so all these entertainment and things like that is what's, keep, you know, holding a grasp in these people's minds. That's what they're basically occupied with all the time. They're just constantly thinking about that, you know, all the time. Not that it's, you know, it's wrong to watch sports and stuff like that, all right? But we know there's a time and place for everything. But these people are just constantly, they basically live and breathe these bread and circuses. So they miss, right? You know, what, what's going on behind the scenes, man? They miss the bigger picture. They're getting distracted, all right? It says, retail analysis Neil Saunders told Yahoo that Walmart's closures in 2016 captured by retail photographer Nicholas Eckhart were the beginning of a pattern in store cuts. All right, jump down a bit further. Saunders' prediction turned out to be largely true as nine Walmarts are closing this year across four states. The first two stores to close were in California and San Diego. <laughs> and Il and El Cajon on February the 9th. Los Angeles, man, that's <laughs> that's not uh, that's it's not looking good there. Let's put it that way, All right? There's a lot of you know you know is it leases and things like that. You know, over there in California, All right? In Los Angeles, man, it's it's just not looking good. All right. Go a bit further down. A third California store closed on the 29th of March in West Covina. A Walmart spokesperson told Los Angeles-based KTLA that the store had underperformed. We have nearly 5,000 stores across America and unfortunately, some do not meet our financial expectations. All right. The company closed stores in Towson, Maryland and Columbus, Ohio because they also didn't meet financial performance expectations. You see? So, hey. You know, they, they can't... They can't they can't pay. They can't pay up. They're not meeting their financial expectations. So, they're forced to close. And, you know, you even have the, over in the UK, man, you've got uh, certain uh, companies or, or stores as well that can't even, like, pay the rent. So, then have to basically shut up store there and either close down for good or relocate elsewhere. All right? They can't even pay... <laughs> The, uh, the rent where they're at, you see. The Walmart in Granite Bay, California closed on April the 12th, making it the fourth store in the state to shut its doors before the Fremont store became the fifth on May the 24th. All right. Yeah. This is where we're at, man. And recently, over the years in the UK, people have been, you know, emigrating and made plans to, to leave, to go back to their native country, all right, as there isn't as much work here. Uh, especially people, you know, who are originally from, you know, the European countries, EU countries, you know, who decide to come over here and live in England. You know, they, you know, a lot of them have, quite a few of them have, have moved back. Okay. So, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, start from 1. You know, we're having the Brexit and things like that. Okay. <coughs> So Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 and it reads Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them Okay, and we have to, you know, first and foremost look to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Alright, because the days that are ahead will be terrible Okay And the only way to escape it is to take comfort and refuge in the Lord Alright, especially as early as possible man Okay and the thing is, the thing is, is that, you know, even mainly with our people, all right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, and Israelite foreign and speckled bird, the lost chosen people, all right, most of our people, you know, they, they'll turn to God when, when things go bad, but they don't remember God when things are going fine in their lives, all right, and that's not serving God in, you know, the most high in truth and, and, and in sincerity, okay. You know, out of what you're going through, you see. Verse 2. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Okay. And the economy will be so bad that, you know, people will be in despair, man. Okay. Many people will be taking it in, in great number as well. You know, as we <coughs> head on to Jacob's trouble. All right. Go to verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. 
right? The keepers of the house are those that watch over the economy, you know, in you know, like stocks, stock markets, trades, etc. Okay. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. That's right, man. The work decreasing, less and less jobs, right? So the future's looking less and less positive. <laughs> okay. You know, stress levels, you know, depression will be on the rise because people just, you know, they won't have their employment to, to go to. To go to look at the uh, the frying pan D when that happened in twenty twenty man a lot of people you know we're all stuck up in the house okay just stuck inside all right you know like, it affected people's mental health you know they'll just lock the hell down locked down okay couldn't do much restricted all right and you know with that 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 brought you know despair you see verse 4 and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound and the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the doors of music shall be brought low you see so these bread and circuses will be diminished diminished as well right people won't have time to take pleasure in that because of what they'll experience man all right so his entertainment will be stripped away from those who are, are, are caught up in it all right <laughs> Isaiah 19, chapter 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be work, any work, for Egypt, which America is modern day Egypt spiritually, right? Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. Right? When those articles speak volumes of it, man. Okay? You, you just All you're hearing is, is so and so going into administration, so and so going into bankruptcy, such and such is closing down. Okay? So America is not like that. that bright you know land of opportunity that people thought it, it was all right lack of work man okay simple as that let's go to the book of second edges chapter five and verse one and it reads nevertheless as come in the tokens okay and the tokens are, are the signs which is referring to the prophecies all right. Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. That's right, man. You know, many many people will perish by by teeth of wild beasts. All right, by the famine, by the the sword. Okay, so Jacob's trouble is near, man. All right, and faith that will only be found amongst the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. You see. <coughs> You know, people have that mindset that think things ain't improving, things ain't getting better, you know, and, and the truth will be hidden, you know, when the Lord removes, you know, <clears throat> this word, you know, from, uh, from off the YouTube and things like that, man, All right? Now the elect, of course, they'll have to go through things, right? You know, they'll have to go through things as well, right? But the difference between us and the, and these people of the world is that you know we have the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, at the end of the tunnel, right? Verse two, but iniquity, sin upon sin, shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago. And that's true, man. Okay. You know, in the, in the times of Noah, it was bad, okay? Adultery was rampant, things like that, all sorts of wickedness. But now, it's, it's way worse than it was back in those ancient times, okay? And we've just seen, you know, lawlessness increase, the love of many waxing cold, and things like that, man. Alright? So go to the chapter before it, Second Edges chapter 4. We'll go to verse 28. It reads, But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Alright, so from the time of Adama, Adam, up until now, the seed of wickedness, the seed of evil, has had its grip on 
on the people man especially the society that we are living in right now okay you know he's grown out to be the most wicked kingdom on earth man all right however the destruction has not arrived yet okay you know this society must be demolished verse 29 if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away then cannot it come that is sown with good okay you know for the kingdom of Yahweh to be established first right this current kingdom has to be destroyed right so yeah it's an unpleasant time that we're in but you know we have this knowledge and this and this faith and the belief right to sustain us you know, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times man okay and lord willing you know lord willing we will be kept from the the said perils to come okay verse 30 for the grain of evil seed hath been sown in the heart of Adam from the beginning, and how much ungodliness hath it brought up unto this time, and how much shall it yet bring forth until the time of threshing come? You see, you know, it happened during the time of Adam that the seed of evil had been sown in the heart of, in the heart of Adam, and all that came after him, right? All that came after Adam inherited that seed of wickedness, you know, the, the tendency to do evil, things like that, all right? Verse 31, ponder now, by thyself how great fruit of wickedness the grain of evil seed hath brought forth so this society needs to be done away with in order for a righteous society to thrive all right so this wicked one must be done away with man okay and we're certainly at the end of it man all right you know another l down it's got economy very 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 unlikely that it'll bounce back Right. So with that, I say shalom to the elect.